YOLO, Eric Burgess here, and today we are looking at three things that are freaking awesome about Acoustica Premium 7. These are just some basic examples of their features that caught me a bit off guard with how good they actually are, hopefully giving you a good idea of the kind of processing you have at your fingertips. Up first is declipping. Here we have a loop that suffers from clipping on the attacks. To fix this, open the declipper as an effect. I will only process the first part so we can compare against the rest. Here we have several parameters we can tune. We adjust the thresholds until we get the best result. This can remove a significant portion of the clipping, despite how simple the process is. Other declippers I've used are very hit and miss, or they cause too much filtering as if the sound had gone through some sort of a low pass. Sometimes I can deal with a much, much smaller amount of clipping if I can get those high frequencies to remain where they are. This is one of those tools that falls into the I wish I had had this sooner category, especially for past productions where re-recording wasn't really an option and the filtered sound I was getting out of some other options was not really working out. Next up, we can select sounds in the spectrum and remove them. We just go to the spectrum view and find the frequencies of the sound we don't want. Using one of the selection tools, we select these frequencies. Then we select the retouch tool, which will replace the unwanted harmonics with the result of an analysis. We get this analysis by holding control and moving the cursor to a section we want to use as a reference. We then click the button on this line. And there we have it. We removed the sound. It's almost kind of like magic, especially the first time you do it. It's like, what the heck? I just erased the sound out of the spectrum. It's pretty dang cool. And third is sort of an underdog. It is the interpolation option. If you have any sudden clicks or pops, removing them can be pretty tricky. Interpolation fixes this really fast. I mention it here because it wound up being something small that I used a lot more than I thought I would. Other features I really enjoy and think are at least worth mentioning really quick is the normalization on this thing. It is amazing. It can normalize to specific loudness standards. There's the statistics page for your audio. Can never have enough statistics about audio. There are of course your restoration plugins along with dynamic plugins and delay processing plugins. There is a special phono filter for restoring vinyl, which I think is pretty cool. And I actually think the phono filter sounds cool on most things. So go ahead and slap it on things that aren't vinyl. You might be surprised with the result. Surround sound is also supported and there are many, many other features. This is just a brief overview. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them in the comments, subscribe and hit the bell icon and have a blessed day. Yeah.